Welcome to this getting started video about sales tax in QuickBooks Online. Sales tax is an important part of your client's business. Making sure that your clients stay on top of their sales tax is a top priority. This video is designed to help you understand what QuickBooks can do for your client. The objectives for this video are learn how QuickBooks sets up sales taxes, understand how QuickBooks tracks sales tax on sales and expenses, and how to file your client's sales tax. QuickBooks handles all types of sales taxes in Canada, including GST, HST, PST, and QST. QuickBooks can also handle custom rates and codes. Based on your client location, QuickBooks will set up the correct taxes for the business. Some provinces require groups of taxes, which QuickBooks handles effectively. Let's start by understanding what QuickBooks does when you set up sales tax for the first time. When you or your client set up the QuickBooks company file for the first time, you must enter the location of the business. QuickBooks uses this information when setting up sales tax. It looks at the province in the company settings to determine the default sales tax rates. Now, let's take a look at what QuickBooks looks like before setting up sales tax. This will highlight how important it is to make sure that your clients set up sales taxes before they make their first sale. Let's start with an invoice. I will open up an invoice from the Create menu. Now I'll enter the invoice information. After you choose a product or service, QuickBooks usually adds the price. I will enter a rate of $100. You'll notice that there is no place to record the sales tax. If you do not see the tax rate at the end of a line, it means the sales tax has not yet been set up. This highlights the importance of setting up the sales taxes before recording a sale or expense. Without going through the setup process, QuickBooks does not add the sales tax rates to sales and expense transactions. Now let's show you what you have to do to set up your client's sales tax. From the navigation bar, click Sales Tax. QuickBooks displays the Sales Tax Center. Now, click Set Up Tax to complete the steps for your client's file. Enter the client tax information. This information can be edited at a later time, but entering it at the start helps QuickBooks know what your client's reporting period is and will display the correct date ranges on their sales tax returns. Click Next. If you have a PST, QuickBooks asks for the PST information at this point. Enter it as needed. Click Setup to complete the setup. Now let's review what QuickBooks sets up for you. This window will display the sales tax balances as your clients enter information. Click Rates and Settings to view more information. You see the basic rates for PST that have been set up by QuickBooks. We can click Back to go and review the GST or HST. Click Rates and Settings again to view the GST HST rates. To view a specific rate, click the rate and QuickBooks shows you the exact rate. Clicking Setup Tax completes the basic setup of your client's taxes. You can also set up additional taxes when other taxes are needed. An example of this would be if your client has to collect sales tax in another province. Add a new tax by clicking the New Tax button. Select one of the four options. You can add a tax for another province, add an additional tax code, an additional group rate, or even a custom tax. This type of window would be used for items like extra fees or taxes, or even a custom rate such as meals and entertainment. In this example, select sales tax for another province. Click Next, and then you choose your province that your clients are going to collect sales tax in. In our example, We'll select Ontario. Now click Done. QuickBooks now adds the new rate to your client's file. 
Now that the sales tax is set up, it's a good idea to know what QuickBooks has done behind the scenes. You can see what it sets up when you go to the chart of accounts. On the chart of accounts, you will see two important accounts related to sales tax. The first is the GST HST payable account. This is the liability account that QuickBooks uses to track the federal portion of sales tax. It also creates the PST payable account if you have a provincial sales tax. QuickBooks also creates a GST suspense account. The purpose of this account is to make and track the sales tax after it has been filed, but not yet been paid. QuickBooks also adds the sales tax rate field on sales and expense transactions. Open an invoice to view the sales tax rate. Now you can complete the sales invoice and include the sales tax. There is an additional field on the invoice that is related to sales tax. QuickBooks lets you choose to include the tax on the invoice when you choose exclusive or inclusive of tax. You and your client will make the choice based on their business needs. Every time you create a sale or expense type transaction and you add a tax rate, QuickBooks adds the sales tax portion to the GST HST payable account and reports the information to the tax return. I'm going to enter an invoice. I will select the sales tax, and now you can see QuickBooks has added both the PST and the GST. Clicking Save will now add this to the sales tax return for both the GST and the PST. QuickBooks also records the sales taxes from expense transactions. In the case of the GST HST, they are recorded as an input tax credit. QuickBooks keeps track of sales taxes until you are ready to file your client's return. To review the current payable amount, return to the Sales Tax Center. To go back to the Sales Tax Center, I'll click Taxes and then click Sales Tax. Before filing, it is a good idea to review the sales tax reports. Click Run Reports. I'll click the GST HST Summary. Now I can review the return report as needed for my client. After reviewing the report, click the back button in your browser to go back to the Sales Tax Center. Now click Prepare Return. Once again, you can review the return as needed. Make sure that the date range lines up with the quarter or month that you are filing for your client. After one final review, you are now ready to file. Click File Return. Now click Continue. QuickBooks has recorded the filing. The last step is to now record the payment for your client. To record the payment, click the Record button next to the filing. QuickBooks now displays the Pay GST HST window. Click the Payment button at the top of the window. If you are receiving a refund for a client, then you would click the Refund button. Enter the payment date and payment account, and now enter the amount of the payment. Click Save to record the payment. You'll notice that it requires that I put the date in advance of today. You've now successfully made your payment, and that concludes the process for tracking and filing your sales taxes for your client.